Hello there, I wanted to share something I've learned today. I'm working on a loot box system that I'm going to be using in my game Legend of the Stones, but also releasing on the Asset Store in the Game Modules package. And part of the system here is that each of the items you might spawn might have some random attributes, in this case prefixes and suffixes. And for each attribute, there's a chance it will show up. So in this case, there's a 100% chance that the demo prefix will show up and a 0% chance that the demo suffix will show up. And we can see that here as the various test items are displayed. You can see that there are the prefixes showing. Now, if you see the leather armor without a prefix, that's because the leather armor, which is one of the objects that it could come from, uh, can't actually use any of these. I've set, I've said so that leather armor can't use any prefix. Part of the testing I've been doing, and so the leather armor won't get a prefix, but everything else will get a prefix. So I wanted to have this randomize order option, and when turned on, this means that the order of attributes will be randomized. Now, when we test, you can see that sometimes they'll all be prefixes. Sometimes they will be mixed where now we have leather boots of strength or helmet of the gods while magic plate armor and you can see the prefixes here flaming icy magic power and their suffixes here. So as we go through this now they're shuffled and I wanted to see how we could shuffle so I went on some Googling and through a very helpful post on Stack Overflow which I'll share in the link below I learned about the Fisher Yates shuffle. You can also get this link shared in the description below. And essentially the Fisher Yates shuffle is a very efficient shuffling technique that gives every permutation an equal chance. That means that if you have a list of 10 things, any order of that 10 things could result in an equal opportunity. So it's a, a good shuffle system. And this is the code that um, you know I, I, I got from the Stack Overflow. I modified it slightly and added by comments. And I just wanted to go through what it does because I think it's pretty neat. And we're going to run this shuffle once for every item in the list. And we're going to start at the end and subtract one for each time. Now, of course, the index is starts at zero. And so if we have five items, this is going to start at four. And then we're going to find a random index between zero and index plus one. The first time we run through this, this is going to be five and random will never return the max value. So in practice, we're going to get zero, one, two, three, or four back from this. So we're first going to find that random index and then we're going to cache the value at that index in the list. So next we're going to move the item at the index we're working on. Again, the first run through on a list of five, this will be at index four. We're gonna put that into the random index and then we're gonna put the value that we cached into that spot. Shuffle those back and forth. And in my code, you can see here that if I have randomize order toggled on, then randomize attribute order is true. And if so, we're gonna take our new attribute order and shuffle it by simply calling dot shuffle. And keep in mind, I am referencing the utilities class up here in the top of the script. I felt this was an easy, straightforward way to shuffle any list of any type. And I wanted to share it with you. So I hope you found this valuable. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to follow more tips and tricks and my progress on Legend of the Stones or any of the Infinity PBR characters and environment packs. Thanks. Have a great day.